Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds to talk about the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone with speaker option for marine operations, specifically a boat in distress. Take the ocean like we have behind us, a lake, a river, or any body of water. This is an extremely useful drone and tool to aid first responders, police officers, firefighters, ocean rescue, marine patrol, or the Coast Guard in that emergency response. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of the tips and techniques to make this drone useful and an extremely good tool to aid in that emergency. Stay tuned. Keep in mind, a vessel in distress can be any number of emergencies. It can be a vessel that's taken on water, somebody that's injured on the vessel, a vessel that's caught on fire, or a vessel that's sinking. This Mavic 3 thermal drone is an extremely valuable tool to aid the incoming units by getting there quickly because time is of the essence. Let's take the ocean and the beach as an example. It's about five o'clock and the lifeguards have already gone home. The nearest response is an inlet several miles to the north and several miles to the south. Any responding unit is going to have to get to that emergency by getting on a boat and responding. The Mavic 3 thermal drone can now stay in the air for over 40 minutes, get to the emergency quick, locate the number of people on board, what the emergency is, and transmit back to the responding units because time is of the essence and any information is valuable. Okay, we have the Mavic 3 thermal in the air and we're gonna take off to a vessel in distress. One very overlooked thing that we wanna do initially, especially when flying over an open body of water and no obstacles, is switch this drone into sport mode right on the top of the remote controller. This is gonna get us to our emergency a lot quicker to aid. So let's fly out to this boat several miles offshore and see what it looks like. Okay, we have this vessel out here. We're gonna switch it to sport mode and we're gonna fly over to this sailboat. We can see our speed at 42, 43, there we go, 44, 45 miles an hour. Now this boat is well offshore. And look how quick we're getting here. I switched my infrared and I can clearly see what's going on. We have another vessel over there. I'll click on another color palette and there we go. I'll be able to locate someone that fell off this vessel pretty easily. There we go. Okay, then I get to the location. We'll switch it back to normal mode. And we can see clearly what's going on in the water surrounding. There's what it looks like wide angle. We kind of have a little glare from the sun. So we switch back to our infrared view. And I like that much better when we're facing the sun. So there's a good example right there in the middle of the day where you might want to use the thermal camera. Circling around this boat. Go back to the black hot. There we go. And I like what I see. It's, it's clearly separating the temperature with the ocean and the boat. And if someone were to fall off, we'd be able to locate them and send responders in the right direction. Okay, let's talk about the speaker option on the Mavic 3 thermal drone. This is the Mavic 3 Enterprise speaker that attaches to the top of the Mavic 3 thermal drone. What we're gonna do is attach the speaker and we're gonna fly over the ocean right here and see how it transmits. This is an excellent tool to let any conscious or missing person on any body of water know that help is coming. So we'll fly over the ocean here. We have a very big north swell going on. It's kind of loud and we're gonna see how this thing transmits. Okay, the drone is in the air. We are raising it to about 100 feet now. We have our speaker attached and we're gonna see how this thing works out. 
we're on the beach. We're over the ocean. The drone's about 200 feet away and about 100. It's 106 feet high, as you can see on the screen. So on the right-hand side, you see the PSDK icon, and then you see speaker. If we click on it, it goes on and off, and we can click the speaker. This is where you talk into the controller. Then it has record and broadcast at the top. It has an already saved message. And then on the bottom, it has tap to talk. Now, if I tap this, that's where I can record the message and then play it back. So let's try this. Hello, help is coming. Hello, help is coming. We'll stop it and then we can broadcast. Okay, I did hear that. Again, the drone is just over 100 feet high. We have some conditions with light wind and definitely wavy uh, ocean and a rough ocean. So I think this speaker would work better in calm conditions, lakes or rivers or calm bodies of water, but it is definitely useful for delivering a message to anyone lost that's conscious and that can hear you or delivering a message to any incoming units. So once I locate the vessel in distress with the Mavic 3 thermal drone, I can now provide that valuable information to incoming units the number of people that are on board, the exact emergency, and the location of the emergency. I can also transmit anything I need with the speaker option on the drone. So it's an extremely valuable tool, especially in a situation like this that's after hours where there can be a delayed response for incoming units. Another useful thing with the Mavic 3 thermal drone is actually locating that vessel in distress with the zoom camera capabilities now. We can now zoom in when our vessel is very far away. We have a boat several miles out here in the ocean. We're gonna take a look at what it looks like and the zoom capabilities with the thermal pallet. So there's our vessel way far out there and we're zoomed 20 times. And this boat is several miles offshore. So you can definitely see what it looks like. And there's our infrared camera on how far he actually is. We go back to the wide angle, you can see how far that vessel is. So that zoom capability is definitely an asset. Now if we go back to the infrared and we hit SBS on the top of the screen here, we have a split screen where you have the zoom on the right, it's a little touchy. And then you have the infrared on the left. Another thing to keep in mind when launching the drone for someone that's in distress on a vessel or a vessel in distress is where exactly are you gonna launch the drone? I'm on the beach right now and I launched out here to get a better line of sight. But if you're taking off the drone from land and then you're coming out to the beach to get that better visual, then you're gonna need to make sure you set your return to home to your remote controller. The drone is now going to return to where you are and not to where you took off the drone. You don't want a problem after you take off where the drone wants to go home and you took off several hundred yards away or further. So we have the drone in the air, if we were to take off on land and then get want to go out on the beach and get that bit better visual line of sight we're simply going to have to change the return to home settings it's very easily overlooked but it can save you much needed time and stress in the middle of the emergency because your drone is not going to want to return to you it's going to want to return to where you took off so to make it return to you and where your controller is we're simply going to hit the top right three little icons and then we have our home point settings and you can see home point where you took off and return to use and a little voice comes up and says basically returning to you or where your controller is so again we're in the air and we're responding to a vessel in distress with no obstacles over an ocean and here we have a vessel coming right at us. We have our regular camera. We'll switch to our infrared and there you go. You can clearly see it. 
So now I can get close to the vessel. I can see the number of people that's on board. I can transmit any message to responding units and get that valuable information that's needed. There he is. And I'm in sport mode and I'm, I'm flying right along with this boat. There's the white hot color palette. So that's what it looks like with some of the color palettes here in the evening on the ocean. It's pretty clear. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone for marine operations, specifically for a boat in distress. Anytime you have a boat in distress over an open body of water, it is an extremely useful tool to provide that much needed information to incoming units. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Have a nice day.